what is happening in this crazy real estate market here in Toronto. That's what we'll talk about in this video because it's extremely volatile. We're seeing lows, we're seeing highs. Our average price for both houses and condos has gone up the past week. So that's what we'll talk about in this video. Be sure to subscribe if you get value from the video. And let's jump into the first graph here, which shows our average sold price. And we can see the average price for detached homes in Toronto was $1,757,000 on the 2nd of June. And look at the few weeks prior because they were fluctuating between 1.65 and you can say uh, 1.7. So this is a significant increase. As a matter of fact, this is the highest the price Prices have been since March 31st. At March 31st, we had an all-time high of $1,832,000. And we can see here, based on the gap between the yellow line and the blue line, that prices are definitely higher than what they were one year ago because the blue line is the average price back in 2020. Taking a look at this next chart here, which shows the number of sales, again, for detached homes in Toronto, there were more sales than there were the past week. It was 265 this week, June the 2nd, and the highest point in terms of both number of sales and the average price was towards the end of March, March 24th, there was 349 sales. So what I'm seeing in the marketplace right now is there's not too many new listings and the supply of listings is being bought out by buyers. What I'm finding from speaking with buyers every single day is that they are awfully scared of the interest rates rising and as a result, they are putting deadlines amongst themselves to purchase a property quickly. So you as a seller can definitely take advantage if you're in an area where there's not a lot of properties up for sale right now. And this next chart here shows the number of new listings as well as active listings. We can see here based on the orange bar that there were 1,552 active listings, which is pretty high compared to where we were um, end of February. And look at early March, there were only 855 active listings. But what's so is we are also seeing uh, less new listings in the marketplace. There were only 473 reported new listings. So like I mentioned, this is the reason why the prices are fairly strong is there's not a lot of new listings and there is quite a bit of demand from buyers. This next chart over here shows the months of inventory. Agents, we understand this figure, but the general public may not. So what you need to know about the months of inventory is that the higher this number is, the more of a buyer's market it is, meaning it's more favorable to buyers. But the lower this number is, the months of inventory, the better it is for sellers. Meaning if we see a months of inventory pretty much under one, you're looking at selling for more than your asking price and selling your home under a week, even within a few days, if you price it right and have a great agent. So the months of inventory for detached homes in Toronto was 1.16 on June the 2nd. The week prior, it was 1.21. And this is a good indicator that maybe the prices will bounce back. Based on this, we can see the average price was up the past week. Our months of inventory is less. Again, all better for sellers. So again, it's really unpredictable in this marketplace. If you were to ask me, what are my predictions in the future? I would say that it should be relatively stable. Based on the fact that our months of inventory has decreased over the past week. And at the same time, the average price has significantly increased. This is a sign that the market has swung in the favor of being better for sellers. Let's now take a look at the average sold price for condo apartments. These are condo apartments in Toronto. And this is great news for sellers or homeowners in the Toronto condo market. And this is really interesting news that for condos in Toronto, they've reached their highest average price we've had all year. We're at $745,000. The week prior, it was $712,000. The average sold price for condos on April 14th was $740,000. So this is the second best. And you can see here that this number did dip after March when the new lockdown and rules came into effect. But it looks like buyers are relatively comfortable with going out and looking at condos and making offers. The blue line is a representation of the average sale price in 2020. So we can see here that there is a little bit of a gap between the blue line and the yellow line, which suggests that for condo homeowners, your home has likely gone up in value over the past week, at least for over the past year or in Toronto anyways. Now we'll take a look at the number of sales. So the sales are up similar to what happened with the housing markets. There were 358 sales reported June 2nd, and this reached its highest point on March 24th. It was at 535 sales. So now uh, my prediction is that once the lockdown ends and people are a little bit more comfortable going out and looking at properties, then the number of sales should be closer to, let's uh, say 450 into 500. And taking a look now at the months of inventory for the condo market, uh, here's what's interesting. Although the average price is up, the months of inventory is not up. It's still at 1.45 on June the 2nd. 
it was at its lowest point, so most favorable for sellers on March 24th, it was at 0.5. So what this tells us is that although the average price is up, although the number of transactions is up, there is also an increase of new listings and the general supply of listings, the active listings is higher. So there's a lot of good activity. Uh, buyers are taking advantage of the market. Sellers are taking advantage of the market because the prices are higher. And we're seeing a lot of sellers going and taking advantage of the market right now who really don't have any like strong desire to sell, but they figure if I get the right price, then I may consider selling my unit. And I really hope you found this information helpful. Consider subscribing if you got value from this video. Drop a like and comment below what are your predictions for our real estate market this summer. If you are an agent and you're looking for opportunity, then do contact me. My contact information is in the description box below. And hey, if you're considering buying or selling, call me, call me, call me. You'll be absolutely delighted with the level of customer service that I'm giving to my clients and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.